here and be all my hopes, be all of my dreams, be all my delights and be my everything and I Joe, you got Marianne? You ladies got something special for your husband's plan? Good answer. <laughs> Good to see you, Sean. Praise the Lord. As you're getting your candy bars, I'm going to have Joe and Marianne come up and speak to you for a bit. And we got a graduation this morning. Um, no, not on. Where, where did Aaron go? Okay, we're on. We're on. Morning, church. Yeah, sorry. Um, it's good to be here. It's good to be in the house of the Lord with y'all. Um, happy Father's Day, guys. Um, we have seven children. I uh, okay. traveled uh, 2,100 miles the other day for one of them. Thank you, Les. Happy Father's Day. Amen. Um, I also want to make a shout out to you, spiritual fathers, um, men like this man here. Um, happy Father's Day. God bless you. It's a, an honor and a privilege to be in our home and do what we do. We've had over 70 women through our home. And uh, it's so sweet. I mean, there's, it's challenging. And it's uh, exciting, and it's, uh, what's that word you used? Estrogen. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Estrogen. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's, wa it's so amazing to watch them grow in the Lord. It's so amazing to see what the Lord does for them in their lives. That's sweet. Hi, Lanny. So uh, we have a graduation today. Um, Jess, come on up. Her family, come on up with her, please. Stacy. You ready, girl? Yeah. All right. Don't, don't, don't forget to introduce your family. Okay. There you go. Tell you. Good morning. Good morning, Jess. Wow, there's a lot of people. Um, first off, I'd just like to pray real quick. Heavenly Father, Lord God, um, I love you so much, Lord. All the praise and glory to you, and you're almighty, full, and powerful, Lord, and without you, we are nothing, Lord. Amen. And so I just pray that you can uh, help comfort my soul right now, Lord, and calm me, and just have me to speak the words that will glorify and edify you, and um, do justice to everything that you have done in my life, Lord. I love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So um, this is my family. This is my Uncle Tony, um, my Aunt Lorreen. This is my sister Rowan, my sister Michelle, Cassie, Letty, my Aunt Nicole, her fiancé James, Jesse, Tori, <laughs> Michaela, Erica, Angel, and Stacy. Um, First of all, I'd just like to, um, I really like to thank Joe and Marianne for everything that they do for all of us girls. I've learned so much from you guys and being in your home, and um, I just really love you guys so much. Um, I would like to thank my uncle and my aunt who um, ministered to me when I was in a dark, dark place. Um, I had to be stopped, and the Lord um, knew that I needed that, and so I had a good time out before I came to the program, um, and these guys were there for me, and um, they believed in me cool. and loved me, 
even though I've never given them a reason to believe in me because I've always made the wrong choices. Um, so thank you. Thank you for taking my phone calls and thank you guys for setting this up for me. I'd like to thank Pastor Tim um, for this program. I've never had any hope in my life until I came here and I found it through the Lord. Um, what you do is just so amazing. You are such an inspiration and I just, I can't even find the words to thank you and tell you what this program has meant to me in my life. Um, a little background, I won't spend much time. Um, I grew up in a single parent home, just my mother. Um, she had me when she was 15 years old. Um, I've been a hardcore drug addict on meth since I was 14. Um, I eventually advanced towards heroin, um, marijuana. Um, I spent my whole life uh, trying to fill a hole with drugs, men, crime, um, just uh, living my life for myself and what I thought was gonna make me happy. Um, I was very rebellious. Um, I didn't have uh, many guidelines or supervision in my home and so I just kind of always have done what I wanted, how I wanted. I did think that I believed in God, but I had no idea what that meant. Um, and coming to this program, um, I would say the first, the verse that I read that really just hit me hard was, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any man be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man beholding his natural face in a glass. He that beholdeth himself then goeth his way straight away forgetteth the manner of man he was. Um, that really just hit me hard because I, I knew at that moment that I could get all this head knowledge and read the Bible and do everything that these guys asked of me here. But if I didn't really have a change in my heart and apply it, then I was just wasting my time and everybody else's. And uh, I didn't know what I was looking for, but I knew that I was going to die, and I wanted to die, so I kept going the way I was going. Um, since I have come here, um, the Lord has done some miraculous things, um, mostly just in my heart. Um, I, I not only want to do the right thing because, um, because I want people outside to see that I'm doing the right thing, I have a desire to do the right thing because I Amen. want to please the Lord. Amen. Um, he gave an ultimate sacrifice for us. And um, just I can't imagine sending my son to die for a bunch of people that, you know, live in sin and they're ungrateful. And um, yep. I don't know, just uh, I didn't expect when I came here that my life was going to completely change. Um, <laughs> And it has, and, um, and one of the main things that I have learned here is that, uh, that I'm never alone. Um, and life isn't always going to be easy, and the same problems are still going to be out there when I go out to the world. But now I have a solution, and that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you know. Um, Good job, girl. He is made strong in my weaknesses, and all I have to do is just um, turn to him, you know, in my time of need. Um, now that I have made it through the program, um, the things I get to do when I leave here, I do get to be happy, I get to be loved, I get to be valued, I get to be a woman of integrity and honor, I get to be a good mom and have lots of intimate, bonding, life-lasting memories with my daughter and my friends and my family. I will be trusted by those around me and I will be present. I will have lots of adventurous, life-changing experiences. I will share my testimony and the hope that comes from our Lord and Savior. I will replace my past traumatic memories with new ones full of love, joy, and hope. I will struggle sometimes, but I get to press into the Lord. I get to set goals and reach for them. The stars are the limit.
<laughs> right on. Congregation, if you'll stand with us. Family, come on up around here. <laughs> Good job, sweetheart. Lord, I want to thank you for the testimony that's inside of her right now. I want to thank you, Lord God, for the power of the Holy Spirit. You reside in her, and you want to share her testimony. Speak through her, Lord God. So I pray right now in the name of Jesus that she's released into this world out there, Lord God, that this will be a missionary trip for her. Now, Lord God, she just went to college. Now she's going to go out into the mission field, and she's going to be able to live it, walk it, move in it, breathe in it. And I thank you, Lord, that the power of your Holy Spirit resides in her. Bless her. Thank you, Lord, for her aunt and uncle. Thank you, Lord, for the ones that held her accountable, for the ones that spoke into her life. Any small little bit of seed that was planted, thank you for those people. And thank you for the ones that are going to continue to water this. May you get the glory and the honor for her life. May you be lifted up so that everybody around her is drawn to you. We ask it in the name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Love you, girl. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I love it. 